Hello everyone, what is up? Zero Devs here, and welcome to part 5 of my RPG development tutorial series. So in this part, I will be taking a look at um, building our portal room. We'll be building a desert area for our game. And I will also be showing how to config our portal to enter the portal room and get into the desert area. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and start constructing ourselves a portal room. So I'm just going to place down, I'm just going to make it out of, um, I'm going to give it some wood floors I think, that'll look nice. Make it about yay long, this wide, that seems good. Mm, there we go. Now I'm going to come over here, and I'm just going to change this to a slate and make it like a darker gray slate. Give it like some stone kind of walls. Now for every other one, I'm just going to make it sink back a bit, and then think on every extruded uh, on every indent one or yeah I'll just do on every indent one is a new portal so now I can just come like this duplicate this and drag it just make sure the one that is indent is on doesn't show any of the underground nope and there we go now I can just duplicate this, drag here, and just set this up so that this can just act as a wall at the end. If you're going to have a lot of realms, you could have multiple floors on your portal room or have portals in your portal room that lead to other portal rooms. I've seen um, a game by one of my friends do does that. So here we go, here is our portal room. I'm just going to anchor this now, move it all over a little bit. And now for this portal, first thing I'm gonna do is come and get the location that I want the teleporter to put the player. Drag it in the air a bit, so say I want the player to spawn right there. Get a, bl get a part, copy the position out of the properties tab, and then delete the part. Now you're going to want to come back over to your portal, rename it, I'm going to name this Portal Room Tele, um, Teleporter Config, in here where it says Teleporter Post, in these brackets, paste the position, uh, the required level to enter it, the name of the destination, and then the RGB color, so say I want head, I just want this to be like a, a gr what color do we want this to be? I'll make it like a electric blue, copy the RGB value of the color, and then paste that here into the um, teleporter config. Now if I click play, wait a minute for it to load not responding that's okay it'll load it just does this sometimes when I'm recording so um, decided that once this series has come to the finale I'm going to make this whole game uncopy lock so anyone can come in and do this stuff so yeah as you can see portal room portal room level 0 plus walk into the portal shows our color teleporting the portal room and then brings us into our portal room and if we want to get back we can just click our teleport to spawn area Oh, and that's broken. So I actually haven't showed how to set that up. I can't believe I missed that and all of this. So if you want to set that up, you just have to come over here to your... Er, one minute. Let me figure out how to set that up quickly. Uh, game config. Player main UI script. 
This is open shop. Hmm. Top shadow content. I'm actually not too sure how you actually change that so that it actually tell oh here go into your workspace and find this little two spawn brick it'll come in your kit it's invisible so it's kind of hidden so you're just gonna have you can just uh, filter workspace and just search to spawn and you'll be able to find it then just drag it where you want the teleport to spawn button to teleport the player to so I want to teleport the player right here so now I can just go back and there we go. Now I'll teleport the player there. So next thing we want is my desert area. So I'm just going to um, take this brick, copy it, and I'll just put my desert area over here. Have it be kind of small, it doesn't really need to be too big. Change the material of the ground to sand and then change our color to a sandy color. Drag this up a bit, make it a little bit bigger. Now I'm gonna want some sandy stone colored blocks. Uh, yeah, that'll work. So now I can just do this again. There we go copy all of these blocks parts drag them over copy all this duplicate it set it up so that it's uh, proper set up to the way the ground is and there we go now I can just oh, don't actually think that's not that set up right it's just because I had it selected Select all of this and make sure it's all anchored, which it is. Now I'm just going to build some little cactuses, cacti, for our desert as well. Make it like a pale green color. I'm just going to make them out of slate, make them kind of blocky cacti. Drag that up. Drag them down a bit. Drag down the size. Now I can just have this go like this. And then there we go. Have this come over here and have it go like this. Then I can just union all these parts together. And there's a little cactus. I'm just gonna drag this out a little bit more just to make sure it's covered completely. Uh, uh, duplicate the cactuses around the desert map. Don't want too much cactus in the desert, just enough to make it look nice. Make sure that looks, yep, that looks decent. So there's the desert built. So now our desert teleporter. I'm just going to copy the portal room tele and drag it over to where I want the desert room teleporter to be located. Right here. I'm going to rename this in the explorer to desert tele. I'm then going to go into the head and color it to where, how I want it to be colored. So I'm going to just color it like so. I like the color of that, copy the RGB value, paste into the RGB of the teleporter config, rename the location to desert, uh, 15 plus, what level did I make my cave? 
10 plus, so I'll make the desert 20 plus. And then I can just get the location of the desert that I want it to be. Player can spawn over here. Copy this position, delete the block, back to the teleporter, teleporter config, and paste the position. So I'm just gonna quickly change the required level to zero just so that I can test that it actually does teleport us to our desert and that everything over there is working correctly. So have this walk into our portal room. Walk over to our desert, teleporting to desert. And there we go, we are now in our desert. So to get back to spawn, I just have this teleport to spawn area button. If you wanted to, you could put another portal in each area which says to spawn and teleport over there, but I'm not going to, that's easy enough for you to do on your own. So I'm just gonna go back into our config and change this back to level 20 plus. I think after this video, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more areas to this game on my own. And then by tomorrow, so the day after this video is uploaded, I'm actually going to release this game to the public for everybody to play and test out and just see what it's like. Um, we'll have some more stuff in it by then. This isn't really a main project, I'm just going to release, release it for everybody to play. If you aren't in the Discord server, there will be a link to that in the description because that's where I will be um, announcing the release of the game. And I always put my videos there, so make sure you turn on the little bell icon next to the subscribe button. Personally, I know people always tell you, yo, hit the bell button. You know, it's so easy to hit that bell button, but I think I have like two channels that I've ever actually pressed the bell button on. So I know no one really actually pressed the bell button, but I'd appreciate it a lot if you did, just so you would not miss out on any of my content or videos. Or if you don't want to, you can just join my Discord server, because I always put announcements and notify everyone in there. And you can chat with me, chat with other fans, um, keep up to date with all the behind the scenes stuff. But that's going to be it for this video. So I've already showed how to config enemies in other tutorials, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that off camera. You can go watch one of the previous tutorials to figure out how to do that if you want to. Part 6 of this tutorial should be coming. Mm, it'll probably be out sometime next week, so make sure you stay tuned for that. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.